Well, like you said, it's been a long time since I've been back in the ring, and um, I'm just gonna prove what I've always proved, that I'm the best, that Keith one time Thurman, you know, I've been the problem, I am the truth, your boy is swift, you know, anything yeah. that they have, you I tell love one time. all the skills and those you talents and attributes. And uh, with Sean Porter, I thought that fight was gonna happen. It's, it somehow fell out, and um, with Keith Thurman, he's gonna stay injured as long as I keep winning, so. <laughs> What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. I am extremely excited. First, I want to say much love to you, Keith Thurman. Much love to you, sounding hungry, calling people out. Calling out Danny Garcia, Errol Spence, much love to you. I like the way you're coming back and sounding hungry because really, dude, I heard you weren't even going to fight anymore. I love it that you're coming back, and I love it that you're sounding hungry. <laughs> Give Keith Thurman a hand. Him and his ponytail. Give them both a hand. Now, as far as Errol Spence, Errol Spence was letting them ride. Errol Spence was letting the shots ride, okay? What he ended up saying to Keith Thurman was real spill, dude. Hey, look, man, I hear all the flapping and glipping and glipping and glipping and glipping. I don't know what it takes for you to fight me. I'm going to tell you what it takes, Errol Spence. I'm going to tell you what it really took. It took for you to be the first one out of that whole batch of welterweights to be fighting on pay-per-view against Mikey Garcia. You are the pay-per-view star, and that's what Keith Thurman was trying to be. But... Funny enough, it ended up being you. Keith Thurman, he fights for the glory. He fights for the money and the glory. And now you, you, Errol Spence, is the pay-per-view star. Now, if you beat Mikey Garcia, Keith Thurman will be knocking at your door. Keith Thurman is a money man. He's a glory man. That's what it is. So, you're going to have your fight with Keith Thurman all because you kept it real in the beginning. Real gets you the deal. Real gets you the deal. I know people think that I'm a Keith Thurman hater. Actually, I'm a Keith Thurman lover. I don't care how big a fan I am of a fighter, I do not ignore when he start acting like a coward, when he starts sounding in a way that I'm not feeling. I'm going to call him out on it. I don't sit on the ship and let it sink. I jump off that damn thing, man. I say, hey, look, man, this ship is sinking. What's wrong with you? I am not like those AJ fans that's in my comments, even now in my last video, going down with the sinking ship. I am not like that. If AJ sounds like a coward, I'm going to say it. If Keith Thurman sounds like a coward, I am going to say it. I'm never a blind fan of anyone. I am not that invested in the boxer. I am mostly invested in boxing. Now, I know you guys remember the classic video of my son, Showbiz the Kid, asking Errol Spence to continue being the hero that he wants him to be with this statement. If you parted with Adrian Broner, you going to be a coward like him. I'm telling you right now, Showbiz the Kid, you ain't got to worry about it because Errol Spence shot fire! Yeah, a lot of these guys don't want to fight me. Adrian Brown don't want to fight me. I really don't like the dude. Why? He's a cool dude. I don't miss Adrian at all. I don't like him. What's not to like about him? I don't like him. I don't like him as a person. I don't like him as a boxer. I don't like Adrian at all. I don't miss okay. him. Dude. Errol Spence was letting us know, nah, I'm going to be great. And that dude, Adrian Broner, he's just a damn moron. And Errol Spence is usually a quiet guy, a smiley, quiet guy. But I like that he's been more vocal. And I love that he's the pay-per-view star right now. Because with him being a pay-per-view star, we're going to start seeing the classic matchups that we were seeing in the late 70s, early 80s. That's all I wanted. I don't care who wins. I want to see Errol Spence against Keith Thurman, Errol Spence against Sean Porter, Sean Porter against Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford against Danny Garcia, Danny Garcia against Errol Spence, Keith Thurman Thurman again. 
So, let's go back to this whole AJ thing. I don't give a d If AJ's the greatest heavyweight, fine. I want to see it. Be the greatest heavyweight. Fight Tyson. Fight Wilder. I mean, dude, that's what I'm saying. I don't care who's the best. I just want to see so it could be proven. Whoever comes out of it, I don't care. If AJ comes out of it, I, there's no I told you so's. I was able to see the fights happen. That's the only thing I'm worried about. And that's the only thing I was screaming when it came to Keith Thurman. I love Keith Thurman. But if you're not allowing for me to watch the fights that I want to see as a fan, you're going to get it. So, let me know what you think about Errol Spence being more vocal. Let me know what you think about the upcoming year and what fight are you looking forward to most. Showbiz the adult. Listen to Showbiz. I'm out of boxing. What's better? What's better?